In a previous video I made about an hour ago when I was doing this walk, I was talking about reductionism and referring to this Morowitz, I think it's Morowitz essay uh, in this uh, in this book I was looking at, uh, and how he talks about um, I get this right, how he talks about smaller scale uh, explanatory mechanisms, the laws of atoms, if you like, determine how molecules work, the laws of how molecules work in turn determine how uh, elements work. That's not right. But anyway, how uh, smaller scale, um, ex the laws of the very small determine what happens at larger and larger scales. Uh, what, was, what I found myself talking about in that, or what the language I found myself using, which is a bit of a surprise, was the language of uh, height as well as the language of size. Uh, I kept finding myself, and in the language of some of the, the essays I've been looking at, including the um, one I just mentioned, there's this sense that when you're working at smaller scales, you're also moving downwards. So, uh, you know, when you... <laughs> I'm trying to find ex examples to wrap my head around here, but there's a, the, the, it often crops up in the language of the very small that uh, that you that we kind of focus downwards, and the language of the very large tends to go upwards. So we talk about things going up in size and moving down in size, uh, and we talk about reduction as a move downwards towards something more fundamental, something at the bottom. Uh, and, you know, the fundamental laws of physics are those which operate at the smallest scale. But fundament is about base and about uh, lowness, which is interesting. Uh, I, can, I can kind of understand how fundament, fundamentality, fundamentalism, is the, uh, yeah, those kind of origins refer to lowness. That's where the foundations of houses are, for example. That's the point at which plants grow out of the earth. You know, starting points and um, origins, and perhaps even salience and importance, does correlate or does it does tend to correlate in normal phenomenological experience with low altitude, with the ground level. But why smallness correlates with that, I'm not so sure. Unless there's a kind of cross correlation that we're saying smallness is fundamental, fundamental is down, therefore smallness is down. I don't know, maybe it works like that. Uh, but I'm not sure it's just that. And here I'm reminded of Richard Feynman's article that he wrote many years ago There's plenty of room at the bottom. It was a kind of early attempt to, um, to argue for nanotechnology, I suppose, and how the, all the, a lot of the interesting. Uh, interesting, interesting science and interesting developments that could take place at nano scale, but the fact you said at the bottom again is really interesting. Now, when we think about moving from this scale that we're working at right now, this kind of Newtonian level of, of medium-sized objects moving at medium speed, uh, when we shrink from that towards atomic size and subatomic size a nano scale, for some reason it does feel appropriate to think about it as move as downwards. We do talk about knocking people down to size, don't we? Which is very strange. Because when you um, when you take a person if you knock a person down in size, in terms of their esteem for example, you don't reduce them to their fundamentals. You don't you're not saying that they're foundational. You're doing something. I don't know why that works. Really, I have no idea what that one works. Perhaps it's completely different. And of course, as you go up, you go up in scale. So large-scale things are up. I don't know why that is. I guess I, I guess one explanation might be again to do with this phenomenological experience of um, of just being alive in the world. Certainly, as I'm standing here in this little path that runs beside the railway line. And beside this uh, wheat field here, the, uh, and I'm looking up into the sky where the clouds are. My experience is kind of um, one of increasing size. You know, the sky is big. You know, the, the, 
if I, I could kind of reproduce this experience on the surface of a of a cone. It's a kind of cone shape. I could be standing in the centre of here with the top bit of it completely open to the sky at the end of the train. The top bit of it completely open to the sky and, and progressively flaring out with a huge trumpet. And then the, the bottom bit, the bit where I'm standing, getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. In fact, as I look down, my body looks a bit like that. I don't know if I'm catching this on this film or not. But my, my, um, my body seems to be in danger of coming to, coming to a point where my feet are.